Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can maintain ST TVRC table. So there's a separate transaction for maintaining ST. So there's a transaction called ST VARV and there is a transaction for ST VARC. So I'll talk about ST VARV. Okay. So that this is the transaction V A R V. ST V A R V. And here you can see these are the table, these are the entries that you can change. And if you click on this, you go to this. And here you can create a new one. So suppose I want to create a new one. Okay, and this is a parameter. So I put Z. So I'm putting a parameter Z F I. Suppose I have something company code. Okay. And here I can just put suppose zero 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 one. Okay, and here I save it. You can maintain it like this, or you have this is for the parameters and this is for the select options. So here you also you can change it. So if I if I want, I can click create and do it. Or if I want, suppose I want to change this, you can always go there and go into. We are already in change mode, so I'll go here and I'll just click on this and this will open up. Okay, so you can see this is select change. And all those things you can change these things so this is pretty simple so if i click on display change display change and change if i click here then it opens up and here i can change it basically so if i put suppose here so suppose i put here zero zero two okay and i execute you'll have two entries so you can see now it has two entries and this is the way to do it. So this is very important. This is the table where you know you put dynamic um, uh, variables where suppose uh, you have a requirement where you want to uh, trigger a particular uh, logic in your program only for certain company codes. Then instead of hard coding in the program, you can maintain this variable. And so that, you know, suppose for Germany, you have some, some requirements and now move to France. You just need to maintain a table entry without asking the wrapper to change the code. Okay, so this is very useful. That's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a good